Is it moral to abandon your children if you don't feel like raising them? Are their needs a claim on you? Yes, their needs are absolutely a claim on you. Because you chose to have them. You chose to have them. They didn't ask to come into this world. You brought them into this world. And by bringing them into this world, you took on a massive responsibility. This is why, this is why only have kids if you really want them. Because you take on a massive responsibility. It's like you signed a contract. It's a long-term contract. It's a contract for 18 years that binds you both financially and time-wise, that commits you to helping these children grow up to be productive adults, commits you to providing them with the education, with the means, with the food, with the, with the roof over their head, so that they can grow up to be productive adults and pursue their own happiness. You're committed to giving them those tools. They have a claim against you because you brought them into this world. That is the claim. And it's a legit claim. So you owe your kids until they're adults. You owe them. You owe them food. You owe them shelter. You owe them decent treatment. I can't force you to love them. I wish you'd love them. But you should treat them well. You owe them education. You owe them to train their mind so that they can live successful lives as adults. They didn't ask to come into this world. This is one of the many reasons I support abortion. It's because you should have every opportunity in the world to give up uh, before they become children, before they're born, to change your mind if you cannot provide those things. If you cannot provide those things, don't have Kids, if you're not willing to put the time in, don't have kids. If you're not willing to put the money in, don't have kids. And it's better to have an abortion than to have kids you don't want. Much better to have an abortion. It's indeed immoral not to have an abortion if you don't want the kids. So abortion is a must. And it's a moral thing. It's a moral must and a legal must in a rational free society. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brute. Using the super chat, and I noticed yesterday when I appealed for uh, support for the show, many of you stepped forward and actually. Uh, supported the show for the first time so i'll do it again maybe we'll get some more today um if you like what you're hearing if you appreciate what i'm doing then i appreciate your support uh those of you who don't yet support the show please take this opportunity go to yourunbrookshow.com slash support or go to subscribestar.com your book show and um and and make a kind of a monthly contribution uh, to keep this uh, to keep this going i'm not sure when the next